Greetings and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. So IBPS SO notification is out and a common question asked from the students that sir there are just 100 vacancies. Should we apply for the exam? Yes or no? So today I'm going to discuss that. So in the notification for the marketing officer, see students, what do you mean by NR? NR means not reported. These banks, the Bank of India, Bank of India, uh, Bank of Maharashtra, Central Bank of India, Indian Bank, Indian Overseas Bank. These, uh, the HR of these banks, they are lazy. These people are really lazy, right? So they missed the dates. So see, uh, the, the simple case is the IBPS has a deadline. So up to that deadline, that date, these banks, they need to submit their requirement sheet. Okay. Out of these banks, only uh, just five banks submitted their requirement sheet. Okay. We need that many marketing officers, these many law officers, right? But these banks, these six banks, they did not report it, right? Just five banks reported their vacancies. Let me tell you that we are expecting bumper number of vacancies from Bank of Maharashtra and Bank of India. Insider knowledge, insider information is there. Okay. Although there are just 100 vacancies, uh, PWBD vacancies are separate. Usko chodke. So there are 100 vacancies, but we are expecting the number of vacancies to increase to at least 200. 250 this is the actual number of vacancies that we are expecting at the time of final allotment this is the real number of vacancy okay this is the expectation this number is not the real number 100 is not the real number because the bank of india and bank of maharashtra i mean they are late they missed their deadline and the ibps released the notification without the you know noting down the the requirement sheets of bank of india and bank of maharashtra so this is the number of vacancy we are expecting that actually happened in i guess 2019 2019 mein hua tha. what happened at that point of time the number of vacancies were hardly 350 something uh, and then what happened uh, they called 1300 students for the interview and uh, suddenly uh, Punjab National Bank came up with 500 vacancies additional vacancies so 850 students uh, were selected out of just 1300 students and we got uh, the record number of selections one I guess 170 180 students uh, roughly those many students got selected finally got selected so that was a uh, you know, you can say a lottery for us, for our students. We, the the students we were not expecting at all to crack the exam. They cracked the exam. They finally got the job, right? So this time, uh, as the major banks, they are late. They are, these people are lazy. They are going to report the vacancies very soon. So uh, this is the number of vacancies. And what would be the effect on cutoffs? See, students, it all depends upon when they are going to report the vacancy if the number of vacancies are reported within let's say within next 30 days before the exams what would be the impact and if they report the vacancies uh, before mains exam what would be the impact in 2019 2020 they reported pnb reported the vacancy after the mains exam right that happened in the past pretty strange right so what would be the cutoff for the pre-exam, what would be the cutoff if the number of vacancies is 100? If it stays around 100, what would be the cutoff? The cutoff for general category would be around 50. If the number of uh, you know vacancies stays the same, the cutoff for marketing for marketing IBPS SO marketing pre-exam, the cutoff would remain same around 50. Okay, for OBC you can expect the similar number 46 47 for sc you can expect like 40 42 for st you can expect like 30 35 okay this is uh, these are the expectations and for the main the same expectations are there if the number of vacancies are 100 the mains cutoff would be around 35 35 to get final selection although the cutoffs are lower 
uh, it would be 26, 27. But to get the final selection, 35 marks are essential. With average interview scores, 35 is a very good score. Okay. But what if the number of vacancies, this number of vacancies, number of vacancies increases to 200, number of vacancy. If it increases to 200, then what would happen? The pre cutoff for general that would be around 30. Okay, that major impact on the pre cutoff. For the general category, it would be 30. For OBC, that would be around 27, 28. For SC, it will be around 25, 26. For ST, it would be around 17, 18. Okay. For the mains exam, the mains exam ka cutoff is almost every time it's same. Is 32 to 34, uh, depending upon the difficulty level of the exam. I am expect, uh, I am assuming that the difficulty level of the exam is similar to the previous paper. Okay, these are my expectations, right? If it is difficult paper, then the cutoff may go down. If it is an easy paper, the cutoff may go up. Okay, so these are the expectations, students. I hope I answered all your answers, all your questions. Sorry, IBPS SO Marketing 2022-2023 course we have already started. We are providing recorded as well as live sessions in our course. The complete syllabus coverage is there. Most accurate syllabus. Downloadable study material is there. We are providing quizzes, test series and interview preparation guidance. Link is available in the description. Check the link in the description to join the course. And in case there is any doubt regarding the, the application, regarding exam, regarding syllabus, you can drop a WhatsApp message. We are going to answer your doubt, uh, doubts, all the doubts we are going to answer. Just send us a WhatsApp message. Uh, all these students in 2022, they crack their respective exam, the IBPS SO marketing using our study material. I'm really, really happy for them. In 21, uh, all these students. And then that's what I, I'm, uh, I'm talking about in 2020. What happened was uh, the number of vacancies increased by 500. PNB, you know, came up with additional 500 vacancies. That happened in 2020. And there is a high probability that vacancies are going to increase. So start your preparations. In case there is any doubt, ask your doubts. I am here to answer all your doubts. I am uh, I'm talking about this thing. I'm discussing this thing because we are actually experienced, right? We have noticed the similar trends in the past. That's why I'm telling you not reported by, you know, 50% of the banks, more than 50% of the banks. So they are going to report the vacancies as per our information. So stay updated till now I got information just from two banks and uh, most probably before we are going to get information from other banks, the, the vacancies would be reported by these banks. Okay, so don't worry within next few days, uh, I'll be you know, I, I'll update you whenever we get some additional information I and I hope uh, this time we'll get official uh, notification regarding that ticket. So official we agar koi notification aata hai, koi update aati hai, we'll let you know. As of now, I can assure you there will be 200 plus vacancies. I can assure you for sure. So start your preparations. There are a few students who feel like they, sh they should not appear for the exam. Golden opportunity. Trust me, this is a golden opportunity. 200 plus vacancies you are going to get. Start your preparations today only. It's a very easy exam. You can score just 50 marks out of 125 and you'll crack the pre-exam. Just secure 30-32 uh, out of 60. Still there is a chance. So it's an easy exam as compared to PO or even clerk. Okay. So subscribe the channel, subscribe the course, start your preparations as soon as possible. If there is any other doubt in your mind, ask your doubts. I'm going to answer you. And that's actually all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.